Here is our tool. It's raw. There might be parasites on it. There's a blueberry. What's that? I'm scared to eat it. It's been almost two years since my foreign wife came here to the Czech Republic Europe to live here with me and during that time period she tried and experienced and tasted different kinds of foods and delicacies here in the Czech Republic but still there are a few which she haven't tasted yet. So for today's video I prepared a couple of different variations of food which are new for Gwen and which are already well known for her. We will both try it, we will both experience it, both give it some rate and in the eight we will see Gwen's reaction for those typical Czech meals like. Now I'm going to prepare our little afternoon feast like today is like, today is Wednesday, like casual Wednesday, we came from work and we are gonna make a feast so let's get into it and for you guys who are new to this channel and this may be the first video you see of us we are filipina checking my name is jacob my wife gwen who is coming in a moment and we'll make travel lifestyle videos of any kind so if you like this video hit to our channel there is bunch more other videos hit the like and subscribe button it's a huge support for us which we will appreciate and now enough of talking and let's get into the preparations like i we both of us with gwen are people who really likes to eat we really like food and this time i guess i put so much effort into it i was thinking like i will just buy a couple of little things just a few of things we don't want to overeat because every time we eat we just overeat that our stomach wants to explode that's not really good and today when i was grocery shopping for those things i was thinking yeah it's really not that much it will be fine and when it's right now in front of me and i'm looking on it it i can say that i failed again you can say guys is it a lot we will see hello hi you ready for a feast Feast. Feast. Philippine feast. Check feast. <laughs> Should I go there? Of course. Oh. Wow. <laughs> just an What's the occasion. Just an announcement. Today is the first day when me with Gwen decided that we will get up at 5 a.m. early before our work so we can do exercise stretching live healthy we also set up like strict diet and today is the first day and already the first day it seems like we are going to fail our diet <laughs> it's already too much <laughs> so many foods yeah so let's get into it i will go i will give gwen a chance to pick any she wants to try at first and the last and we will see how it will end what you want first maybe this one so this one what's this one this one is a sweet dumpling filled with blueberries with melted butter and sugar this one it looks like filipino show pow why is it half it can be quarters if you want water water so there's something inside of it that's what kuba said there's a blueberry mm, let's see so it's like mukbang <laughs> mukbang do you like prepare this one or you bought it Prepare everything. Like you made it? Yeah. Really? This one? Yeah. In just few minutes? No, it was one hour. It was one hour? Yeah. <laughs> I did not notice. Give me as well. Yum, 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 yum. I will slice for you. It's delicious. I love it. Mmm. Mm. Nice. 
good chef. Perfect chef. chef. You're a good chef, baby. Move to the next. And the next thing what Gwen picked is this. I don't know. What's that? I thought it's frozen with ice. When I touch it, it's smooth. So it's like jelly something on it. Yeah, you're right. This is jelly and inside there is like a pickle, pepper, egg and a ham filled with cream. Shunka aspiku. What? Shunka aspiku. Shunka aspiku? V aspiku. Shunka v? V aspiku. Shunka v? <laughs> Delicious. My father's my father loves this one. Let's see if it's really true. <laughs> Is it sour? It's too creamy. It's fine. Mm. Six over ten. <laughs> Six over ten and the blueberry dumpling. Eight over ten. Mm, good. Good. I don't want to try this. You don't want to try it's this? It's not cooked. Ah, it is actually half cooked. No, I don't want to. This one, to. guys, is the tartar steak. Like uh, roasted bread and the topping is like raw beef mixed with raw egg, mustard, pepper, salt, ketchup. Okay. And you can give it a try because this is one of the best things which is on this table. It's raw. There might be parasites on it. No, there are no parasites. <laughs> How can you say it's none? It's raw. I'm scared to eat it. I will just try a little. Just. Yeah. You have the whole bread? Oh, yeah. Delicious, right? Mm -hmm, but it's raw, I don't like it. Uh -huh. It's delicious, but it's raw, I don't want to eat it. Like guys, if you are in the Europe and you are offered this tartar steak, don't be worried to eat it because the hygiene about the butchers is very strict here and the meats coming out of them, you can be sure it's nothing wrong with the meat. If it's not expired. It's so delicious. But it's raw. I'm mm. scared to eat raw things. And that fish too, it's raw. Kurba. Dobre. 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 What does it mean? Deep means once there is like killing of the pig, so you will kill the pig and you will cut off the meat, you eat like the legs, like the that good meat you will cut off and then you are left with a skeleton of the pig. But we don't want to waste anything, so we will just throw the whole skeleton into the water, we will boil it. Once it's boiled, you have a soap, you have a pig broth. That's a soup, and then you will pick soap. up soap. Soup. 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 <laughs> soup. <laughs> soup. And from the skeleton, you will pick up all those things which are left. There are also like intestines of the pig, everything. And this is also kind of jelly. It's very fatty, so it's fats, I think. It's not jelly. It's very jelly. It's Huge fats. amount of collagen. But this is not the jelly, this is pig skin, rounded into like a cream. And when it's cold, it will become this firm. Served with fresh like bread, vinegar and onion. So it's like fat? It's not. It's collagen? Yep. Is it tasty? It looks so scary. It's like I'm eating so... It's far, but... Honestly, I've never been a fan of this placenka in my life. Not one of my favorite ones, no. but I will still give it a try. Me too, I don't like it. You don't like it, no. so you can eat the bread, so the taste will go so away. Jelly. The bread is yum yum. Oh, well, the bread <laughs> is yum yum. We are moving on. Which one would you would like to? Ta da! Oh, sauerkraut. I love this one. This is one. sauerkraut. <clears throat> 
meaning of this fermented cabbage. I love this one. Yeah, cabbage which is sour. Mm -hmm. If you're familiar with kimchi, mm -hmm. this is yeah. quite the same mm -hmm. process, mm -hmm. but very sour. <laughs> With high source of vitamin C in the juice. And probiotic. Probiotic. Probiotics because it's fermented. So, we did not rate. Rating? 4 over 10. 4 over 10? Yeah. Oh my god, hunger on you. I don't like it. So jelly. It's like you're eating soap, like literally soap. Not soup, but soap. Oh, now we are moving to the sweet ones. I'm not really a sweet person, but I'm excited to taste. Yeah, you're absolutely not sweet. Yeah, I'm not. This one? It smells... It's kolacek. Kolacek? The word-to-word -word translation would be apple pie, because the filling is made out of apple. You want to try? Sure. Sure thing. Mm -hmm. It's like the topping here. This one is so smooth. Like it's jelly too and smooth and it's very it's like it's nice to eat it. Everything is jelly today. Yeah, not it's nice like and it's not too sweet. It's in between. This one and this one is koblizek. Koblizek? Yep. Why it's koblizek? The translation into English would be like a donut, but it's not. It's a Czech donut without a hole in it. It's oh, the no. same way how to make it. It's like you will make a dough and you will fry it. It's filled with the fruit jam and powdered with sugar. What's this? Sugar or cocaine. No. What's inside? Inside we have a gem or marmalade. Czechs love this kind of like sweet somewhere everywhere like this kind of thing. Because we are sweet. Mm -hmm. I love this. Sweet and serious. Pivo. Pivo prosim. Jedna pivo prosim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One beer please. Here you are. Gwen, how to open it? Gwen already knows how to open it. Oh. Yeah, they, they open it in the Philippines with their teeth. Uh huh. And how many teeth were left? Two. <laughs> the friend of mine always says like, once you don't have a beer opener and you have this like bottled beer, no worries because the whole world is one huge beer opener, literally speaking. So all the things you see around you could possibly make to open a beer. So, so I will I'm pick... gonna try this here. No, we will bring the break table. <laughs> what about here in the edge? And that's the same table. Almost. Ah, what's okay, good? Don't say anything. Leverage. Ah. Let's see if I can really have this Filipino power of opening a bottle. You need help? And I have to do it myself. I want. I can't. This was just one second. You already moved it little for me. <laughs> How can you do that? Yo. I don't beer drink, but I have to try this. Mm. But the smell of the beer makes me puke. It's disgusting. Then the alcohol. Don't say that. <laughs> it's saint. My favorite one I picked for you. It's so bitter. You're in the country of the one who makes the best beers, who consume the most beers in yeah. the world. Yeah. So it means you have to like it. It's 10 out of 10, right? It's, yeah, it's fine. 9 over 10, I would say. No. <laughs> 9 over 10. <laughs> no, no. 10. I don't like the smell. 10. But 9 over 10. Which one next? It's 
actually my first time seeing this kind of bread here because I can't find like this in the Philippines. We don't have this kind of bread. Because I would say it's actually kind of Czech thing only. It's a sandwich. But this kind of Czech sandwich is, miss is missing the second upper bread slice. We serve it this way, we design and decorate it this way and we just eat it this way. Madame. Oh. Good. I like it. I did not make this one, I bought this one. What is it called in Czech language? This one is Chlebíček. Chlebíček. Huh. <laughs> what I know, Czech language and Rus Russian language has one letter in common, which is H connecting C and H, but the pronunciation of it together is H. Gwen has difficulties to pronounce it, and I would say also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but in my language, we have this N. Oh, yeah. We have to speak here too, like our throat. They have. Filipinos have letter which is written like NG. Mm -hmm. How do you want to pronounce it? NG? Mm. Mm -hmm. Here we are getting ice to cream. an interesting things. Looks like an Gwen ice cream. Gwen said an ice cream and this one? Um, bread? Oh yeah, Jelly is it bread? bread? Jelly bread. Oh, it would be first it's time ever. That's disgusting maybe. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> But it's true. It's saint it as well. It smells like fart. So guys, this one is not an ice cream, it's an curd cheese. And this one is a kind of cheese as well. And if you want to make this one, you need to get this. So Should this cheese is made out of the curd cheese. This reminds me of durian in the Philippines that smells like fart. Mm, but tastes amazing. Uh, should I really eat Give it? Give it a try. Oh, no, you don't have to dip it. <laughs> <laughs> Gwen just dipped it. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, you can. I will just. Does look I will just enjoy it how it is like this. But what's the purpose of this one if it's not dipping on it? If not, it, you will just taste it separately. Mm hmm. Very high source of protein. Very salty. But delicious. It has a kind of intense smell or scent. What about the curd cheese itself? It's so salty. I'm, it's like I'm eating mixed with different things right now. Sour, salty, sweet, tasteless. This one is tasteless. Yeah, sour <laughs> and tasteless. <laughs> Can you imagine something this delicious comes out of this horrible? No. 4 over 10. 4 over 10? <laughs> okay. And right now we are here with Preit. Preit. Preit divided into Jitrnice and Jelito. Jitrnice and Jelito? Yeah. <laughs> It's made out of the mixture of that meat, from the leftover pig skeleton, some liver, spices, make it taste good. And this is not exactly the case, but how it's done, you will make this mixture and then you will insert it into pig intestine. So you will make a huge long hot dog, then you will boil it and then it's done. This one is not the case, they put it into plastic box. Mm -hmm. But what's the difference between the two white so red and why this one is just, I don't know. Like blue. the only difference, what do you think? It's blue and it's red. But the, where is the blue? <laughs> this one, it looks like blue green or green mm. something. Well, the red one is only different because it's blood in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will not eat it because it's made out of blood. <laughs> but it is the same. I don't want to eat it. I just don't want. Oh, well, don't eat it. Okay, I will just taste this one. Alright? Taste. Okay. 
We have already tasted it. Well, Let me do it. But not this red one. So just the brown one. It's like meatloaf for me. Could be. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. It's interesting. It looks so scary and it's like it's ra like raw meat. It's not raw. It looks like a liver as well. <laughs> there could be parts of liver. It's ten. 8 over 10. It's interesting taste for me. Nice. Mm. Well, here I will try the, the bloody one. <laughs> Checks are good. Next one is. Next one we have a fish. Is it raw? No, it's not raw. It looks raw for me. It's raw, baby. Is it raw? What kind of fish is this? Is it salty fish? No, Salted? It's... It's a sea fish, mm -hmm. Zavinach. Zavinach. Fish raw, filled with sauerkraut, onion. So it's raw. It's not raw. You, you just mentioned it's fish raw. <laughs> raw. Oh, little. A little. If Car it's fried fish, I will like, eat careful, everything. Careful, so you will not get poisoned. Mm -hmm. Done. This one is so delicious. Ten over. 10. 10 over 10. Yeah. It's this delicious. one. Sour, but 10 over 10, but still, I don't want to eat everything. Maybe later. And the last thing, which already has been opened. You open it already, right? You tasted it already. A sweet biscuit. Triple chuck biscuit. Tatranki. Mm -hmm. Opavia, like, look. Yeah, it's like wafer for me. Wa Philippine wafer. This one is nice. Not too sweet. Like. Sakto lang. Nasdravi. Nasdravi. <laughs> Bitter. Rize, 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 rize. And here it is. Gwen just finished, or we just finished our feast. Our mukbang feast. Mukbang feast. <laughs> Not even a mukbang. <laughs> like speaking of Czech foods, like Czech cuisine. How was it? It was. It was great. Very unique for me. Like, imagine foods with jelly, and we don't even have like that in the Philippines. <laughs> it's something new for me. Something is like new and interesting. Yeah, I would say you may think that the Czech meals don't look really nice on the first sight, but that's the thing I want to tell you guys. Like, don't refuse to eat some foods just by looking on it. Only because it looks disgusting it's not immediately reason it is disgusting like it's funny it's me who is saying that because up until now i'm still like that like i can see some kind of food i've never seen never taste but i don't like it it doesn't look good so i will not eat it but slowly i'm learning how to overcome this and it's important maybe only because of this you are missing so many crazy taste and she will eat anything that's me who has the problem <laughs> the end of this brings us to the beginning of another thing because today we started our new life our diet so from all those food we just ate the calories get in we have to burn them so running or walking or swimming swimming or couching couching what does it mean <laughs> or laying on the couch <laughs> That's a new vocabulary. Hmm? 
it's like it will always be a new journey for us to start our diet and exercise but we have already have done that try so many times and it's still failing so we will try it again this time and let's see what will happen to this goal if it will be successful or it will be the same as the last time that <laughs> like we're starting every month <laughs> better to start than not starting better starting than not this was our great it's interesting and it looks very interesting and it tastes so interesting as well so it's really nice and i did not expect that kubo would have prepared this one for me that's all for today's video guys so if you like this video you may hit the like and subscribe button we are preparing for next videos and we are so excited for that thank you so much for tuning in and see you again next time bye bye